for my project Osheshe team and I. It was the turn of Odo Ogbolu local government to receive our attention. We, we visited Odo Ogbolu, the home of Nigeria's former number two military leader, General Oladipo Dia, and surrounding communities on Friday, May 11, 2018. We noticed a seemingly abandoned federal government project, a technology incubation center that appears to be receiving new signs of life. Uh, the, the place has been in existence for a long way. Um, we just um, occupied it not for long. Um, the concept is just all about um, bringing in um, MSE owners. MS, to, okay, uh, micro, uh, small. Um, medium, medium, small, small. yeah. Okay, the government is trying to encourage them, they uh, provide them with um, some facilities. Okay. I hope the center begins to operate so it can offer empowerment and employment opportunities to our young persons. Thankfully, there's a large oil milling industry creating employment for Odogbolu youths. We observe the shocking state of dilapidation of the road that leads to the reputable Federal Government College Odogbolu. It is a shame that both the federal and state governments leave the road to a major federal institution in such a state. The pitiable state of educational infrastructure that we have observed so far everywhere we have been to repeated itself at local government model basic school, Odo Bolu. Look at the school. This is school. Government, government school. I'm not sure. Anyway. It is well. That one is newer. That building. Education trust fund. Class. Kindergarten. You see everybody's sweating. I spoke to a few traders and young persons about commerce and employment in the Odogbolu area. Very poor. Let me say we are not happy. We are not happy. One, if I can think ah, in my car, in a place where I was born, with my head not to talk of my father, there's no factory, there's nothing. People like young guys over here will go to that Lagos and work there. Whereas they are supposed to come home and work and develop their, uh, their state. Thankfully, Odobolu Grammar School appears to be in a fairly good shape. We left Odobolu with a clear understanding that the local government needs better roads, improved educational infrastructure, standard markets, and employment opportunities for the youths. There is work to be done. Omo Ogun, Isheya.